It's Robbie Wilkie with Fast Gardening Michigan back again with another squash vine borer video. If you were unfortunate enough to have to search to find this video, it probably means you have pumpkin plants that are not doing pretty good. If your pumpkin vines were doing pretty good, like this pumpkin vine here, to doing not pretty good, like this sad droopy pumpkin right here. Or maybe at this point, they're even looking very depressed, like this half of this zucchini vine right here. Three days ago, both of these pumpkin vines look just like that droopy zucchini. And if you haven't searched the web to figure out why this is happening, I'm gonna tell you right now, 99.9% .9 of the time, having healthy vines get all sad and depressed almost overnight, almost guaranteed you got squash vine borer grubs inside your vines. I hope you found this video early because we're about to save your Halloween because pumpkins are one of the most forgiving plants when it comes to squash vine borers and it's very easy to get rid of them. All we need for the pumpkin vines is one paper clip. But before we start probing these pumpkin vines, I want you to pause the video and subscribe to the channel and make sure you leave a comment in the comment section so we can chat about squash vine borers or anything else gardening related. Also check out the Facebook page. I have the address below right here or you can just search Fast Garden Michigan on Facebook and make sure you give the page a like and a follow. I have a lot of bonus content on there. It doesn't make videos. But we're running out of time and your plants are dying. So let's jump right in and get these nasty grubs out of these pumpkins. Quick disclaimer, I do not think we are going to find any vine borers inside the pumpkin plants because I already got them out by candlelight the other night. At least I hope I don't find any more. This guy's on the road to recovery, which makes me think I got them all out. This one's a little sadder, but it's not as sad as it used to be. So this is gonna be a good example. So the vine borer is this pretty moth that looks pretty cool, but it does bad things. It likes to fly around all over the place, and then it lands on your zucchinis, pumpkins, squatches, plants like that. And it'll go towards the base, and it'll lay eggs on the base of your stems. Good practice is to check your plants daily and look for these eggs. They're pretty easy to spot. They almost look like squash bug eggs, but they're spread out a lot more. If you see those there, just crush them and knock them off. And if you see cucumber beetles, do the same thing. If your pumpkin's sad, this squash vine borer is already at stage two. So at this point, you wanna check the base of your stem and you wanna look around and try to find any hole that goes into the bottom of the stem. Now I've seen these as far up as five or six inches. I've seen them in the bottom, but traditionally they like to go pretty close to the soil, maybe an inch or two, and you're gonna see a hole like this one. This one's a little bigger because I already got the vine borer grub out of that hole, made it a little bit bigger, but sometimes it'll be a tiny little hole and you'll notice a little bit of sawdust laying there. Now you find that hole early enough after your plant starts looking sad, you can save these pumpkins. This is all you need. This is a paper clip that I took some pliers and I bent this little tiny hook on the end of it. I made it so it will fit inside the hole that the vine borer grubs make when they dig into your plant. Now if you watched my last video on these squash vine borers dealing with these zucchini plants, we actually had to cut the stems open and split them to get the grubs out because they were so far inside. This way is a little bit tougher with the zucchinis, but it does work because they have a thinner stem, so sometimes splitting them is a little bit easier. But with these thicker pumpkin vine stems, this works pretty good and it has worked for me, so I'm gonna show you what I do. So we're gonna take our paper clip and we're gonna stick it right inside that vine borer hole. And usually they bore their way towards the front. But as we learned with the zucchinis, sometimes they like to go down. So we'll take this, stick it in the hole, see how far we can feed it up in that hole. Oh, look at that, way up in there. Hopefully this guy is not that high up inside there. Now if you feel like you bottomed out, you could always take this clip and bend it so you can get further inside there and go at the angle with the hole and go up that vine 
So you want to get in there, start digging and twisting. If anything else, we're chopping this grub to ribbons right now. But our goal would be to extract it. And if you feel like you're still not getting in there, all you gotta do, bend her open a little bit more, put a little more bend in it, and just keep pushing it up. Oh yeah, way up in there. When you're done twisting and bouncing around, pull her out and see what we got going on there. Don't worry about a little bit of that pumpkin coming off. Look at that. There is some vine borer remnants mixed in there. So that vine borer was pretty far up in there. If you got vine borer grub guts on your hook, don't stop, keep going. Sometimes there's more than one. I pulled two out of this plant three days ago. This plant has not recovered as fast as the one next to it did. So I'm worried there might be another one in there. So I'm gonna keep probing pretty deep and see if we find anything else inside there. All right, at this point, I have bottomed out, giving her a little twist right there, in case there's a grub in there, chopping them up. All right, it's hard to see it right there. That little tan spot meant that there was one more squash vine borer grub inside that pumpkin. And that squash vine borer grub is not going to survive the old paperclip hook. So he's dead. He's dead inside that vine right now. So this plant can start the recovery process. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to give this pumpkin vine a boost. When you have a large vine growing, why should we rely on one stem going into the ground when we can go through and bury our stem in multiple places so we can grow more roots down into the soil. So if this stem does die because of the vine borers, the nutrients and water will get sucked up through these new roots and backfeed into the entire plant. Where you have these side leaves and flowers forming and these tendrils, there's these little spots here, these little nodes. Now these are spots where the pumpkin wants to root into the ground. Sometimes it will do it on its own, but if you go through and bury it, not including any of the leaves or the buds or anything, but you just bury the stem with soil, or even better yet, compost, and water it just like you do your plant, roots will form out of here into the ground, and they will pick up water and nutrients and feed your pumpkin plant. So the more you can do, the better. Some people literally bury their entire pumpkin vine to do this. This is just good practice anyway, because these vines get so big that having multiple roots going through here is gonna help your plant out. And once you get the pumpkins on there, it's gonna help them too. So just start doing it right away. You might not even notice the damage from the squash vine borers, but that doesn't mean you still should not check. Always check the base of your stem for the eggs. And if you see the hole, make sure you get that paper clip and start chopping them grubs up. You got no time to waste. You catch this early, get out there, start tearing these grubs to pieces with that paper clip, and you're gonna save your Halloween. You're gonna have pumpkin pie and super spooky jack-o'-lanterns that you'll put on your front porch and the squirrels are gonna eat them. Turn your day in the garden into a squash vine borer grub extinction event. This has worked great for me, so if you try this and it works for you, let me know in the comments. I love hearing success stories. I'm gonna head over to the zucchinis and obliterate some more grubs. So as always, thanks for watching.